Hello YouTube, I'm your Huckleberry, and what we have here are two MVMT watches, or movement watches, and a pair of their shades. And let me just say up front, <laughs> because I, I know these guys, uh, their social media campaigns and everything, and I, I bought these with my own money, I have no affiliation with them. I uh, I have the receipt <laughs> to prove that I bought all of these with my own money, uh, and I have to say I know I have to say that up front because they they do so much with influencers, which I don't consider myself any kind of influencer. I'm just a guy with an iPhone and some lighting that likes to make videos about gear, <laughs> but. But I, I do know that they like to push this stuff out to influencers and then you get videos like top five reasons movement watches are better than Rolex, uh, <laughs> which you will not hear here uh, because that is, uh, that is not true in any way. But I also don't think that they're as bad as a lot of people say. You know, that, that's my initial thought. Like I said, I, I bought these. I'm going to try them out. We're going to see. Um, because it seems to me whenever, you know, on YouTube and across the internet as a whole, whenever you Google or type into the YouTube search MVMT movement watches, uh, about the first, uh, page of results is all hate. It's all top five reasons I hate movement watches or top five reasons movement watches suck or, uh, you, you know, just all kinds of, of stuff. And I've watched a few of those videos and what occurred to me is that one, I don't think that many of them have ever actually owned and worn a movement watch. So they're just going based off, you know, I guess, I guess they look at the spec sheet and they're like, oh, that sucks or whatever, because they are quartz. And I know a lot of the watch guys hate quartz. Quartz is a bad, bad thing. It's, it's a bad word uh, to a lot of watch guys. Me personally, I prefer quartz. Uh, it's more accurate. It's cheaper to service. It's easier to maintain. They're more durable. I prefer quartz over uh, mechanical watches, automatic or manual wind watches. And look, I have had the multi-thousand dollar Omegas and Breitlings. I don't currently have any of those because I kind of got out of that when I came to the realization that, hey, I just kind of prefer quartz. <laughs> but but I have had those kind of watches before, those those luxury high-end watches. And they are nice, no doubt about it. Um, but I, I really just prefer quartz when it comes right down to it. So, and, and I just see a lot of hate when it comes to these watches. And it seems like those guys have never had them. They've never, because they will say, you know, especially when it comes to a watch like this, what they'll tell you is that this is a cheap uh, $3 watch that you can get on Alibaba and all movement did was put the MVMT logo on there. And look, that may well be true, but they say that and they don't have either, they don't have both watches there to compare and say, oh yes, this really is the same watch or no, you know what, this watch, the cheap watch is actually better or the movement watch is actually better. They don't ever have them in hand to compare. And so I'm like, how can you just, how do you just say things like that where you've never actually had the watch and you don't have them in hand right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test them and this is going to be long-term. I'm going to long-term test these because the uh, durability is always called into question when it comes to these watches. Uh, durability, price, all those things are always called into question. Now look, this is, this is $95. That's what this one costs. This is their cheapest. This is the, the cheapest one that they offer. The, the most basic, it's $95. It, uh, I do see watches on, because I went and searched, I do see watches on Alibaba that look just like this, just without that logo, for, like I said, like the $3 mark. And so, you know, I'm also, so I'm going to buy one of those, and we're actually, I'm going to have both of them in hand, and we're actually going to compare. And I'm actually planning on, at one point, opening up, opening them up, both of them. And these, I have already worn these, so you see some schmutz and stuff there because I have been wearing these for several days now. And we're going to open them up and we're going to check the movements and we're going to compare the movements and we're going to compare the durability of them. And we're, we're I mean, we're just going to do a full on comparison between this one. And that's the reason I got this one because I've seen one that looks exactly like, this is really the only one that I've seen. Well, this and the, the white dial, uh, they have a white dial version of this that they also, 
I've also seen a $3 Alibaba watch that looked just like it, but I got this one because I've seen a $3 watch on like Alibaba or those other kind of Chinese websites that does look exactly like this. So I'm gonna buy it and we're gonna compare and we're gonna actually see where I'm actually gonna have both of them in hand to compare and see if they are the same or if they are different or if if there's not enough difference to justify the, the $95. And to me on this one, 95 probably is expensive because Timex makes similar simple minimalist uh, dial watches for, you know, 30 to $40 probably in that range. Now look, I've never seen, now this is from their revolver collection. And this one was interesting to me. I like the blue of the dial. I like the way that it looks. It looks unique. I even like kind of that crown there, that there. I, I, now I have not seen any kind of watch on Alibaba or any other website that looks like this one for less than, this was $140. This is 140 and I have not seen any, you know, cheap Chinese watches that look anything like this one. So I think once you get past beyond their, their basic line, their, I think they call it the classic, yeah, the classic line. Once you get past that into some of their more expensive watches, then, you know, I, I haven't seen any, you know, cheap Chinese uh, watches that look anything like this or any of their other higher end watches. So then you're getting into more unique designs once you start paying a little bit more. And so, you know, I, I mean, I really like these so far. So far, I've only had them a few days and I've worn them. But so far, you know, they're keeping time like a quartz watch should. They, you know, I haven't done any particular hard banging around with them, but th that's also not what these watches are for. I have a G-Shock for that, you know. If I'm going to be doing a, a lot of hard-duty work outside or whatever, that's, that's what a G-Shock is for. It, 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 that's not what these watches are for. That's not what they're advertised as, as hard-use, hard-duty watches or anything like that. But I am going to be wearing them for a while. And what I plan on doing is doing, over the span of a year, wearing these watches... Uh, just in kind of my everyday, normal, everyday life. And then I will update every three months. Uh, just check in with you, tell you how it's going, tell you if I had any problems, such as the battery died, they broke. So, you know, any, any kind of problems, I will update you on that. And just to kind of get some specs out of the way. So this is going to be, I got this one because one, I want to check the durability of the coating there to make sure that's good and durable. Uh, I like. I just thought this one looked good. <laughs> I liked it. It is 45 millimeters. I have a big wrist, and it's 45 millimeters, so it looks fine on my wrist. It does have a mineral uh, glass there. It's not sapphire. It is mineral, which honestly, for $95 and especially for $140, that should probably be sapphire, but it's mineral. And, but this one looks good to me. They do, one thing they got right that's a pet peeve of mine is that the date wheel matches the color of the dial on a black watch. I'm so happy that that is not a white date wheel because that drives me insane when you have kind of this blacked out sleek look and a white date wheel that just stands out like a sore thumb. <laughs> I absolutely hate that. But we don't have to worry about that with this because they got the, the date wheel right. It's a black, uh, it's black, so. Uh, this one is 41 millimeters, and like I said, it does also have a mineral crystal, which should really be a sapphire at this price. It does come on the bracelet, so I got one with the leather strap and one with the bracelet. Uh, the, the leather strap feels a little cheap. Honestly, I mean, I say that. If you've ever had a Barton strap, which Barton gets a, a lot of praise in the watch community, it seems like to me, it... it it feels pretty much like that to me. It doesn't feel any worse than that. It doesn't feel, I mean, it feels like a Barton strap and I believe you can get those for what, 20, 20, $30 or something. And I think you get these for 20, $30. So, I mean, it's, it's on par. It's on par with that and watch, you know, it seems to me in the watch community that Barton gets uh, quite a bit of praise for their straps. And this feels like a Barton strap to me. Uh, we, it does have the quick release, which I love. I love the quick release. 
I love that it has the quick release. Uh, it makes ch uh, strap changes so much so so easy. I'm not really going to be changing out the strap on this because I want to test the durability of the straps. And so I'm probably just going to leave this one on for the majority of the time just to, again, check the durability of that. Now back to this one. This one has a bracelet on it. And it does have the high polished and that's going to, I can tell you right now, the high polished center links are going to get banged up. They already kind of are. <laughs> but that's going to be with any high polished watch. You can have a high polished Omega bracelet and it's, if you wear it, you know, every day, it's going to get scratched up. So that's gonna happen there. That's gonna get scratched up. Here's the clasp, it's just a basic clasp. I do like the little extra added security of that right there, that little extra clasp there. You know, it's a dual button clasp there. There are micro adjustments, so you can adjust there. And I, I will also commend uh, Movement's customer service because I had a question about the bracelet because uh, as you know from my knife reviews, I have extra large hands and that comes with an extra large wrist. <laughs> uh, and, and so I wanted to make sure that the bracelet would fit my huge wrist. And so on a Sunday, I emailed them, I emailed their customer service from their website and I just asked the question, hey, I have a, a, an eight inch, around an eight inch wrist, will your bracelets, the bracelet on your watches fit my wrist? And I, I did that on a Sunday and, I, and so I honestly was not expecting a response because it says right there on their website, uh, you can expect a, res a response between 24 and 48 hours. So I was expecting a response probably on like Tuesday is when I was expecting a response. They got back to me within a few hours, and that was on a Sunday, on the weekend. And they got back to me within a few hours, and they said, uh, yes, you know, our, our bracelets are designed to fit most wrists. Uh, it does come with extra links if you need. And so you can, you know, so you can rest assured that it's going to fit your wrist. And I was like, wow, that's really good customer service to respond to me on a Sunday within a few hours. That to me was really impressive. So their customer service has already impressed me as far as that goes. Uh, the bracelet does feel a little light, maybe a little tinny. It sounds maybe a little tinny, but you know what? The, the links, I mean, look, look at how much, what do you call that, articulation? <laughs> articulation that the bracelet has, the way that it stacks like that. I mean, it's really nice. It has good fluidity. That's kind of what I'm looking for, I think. It has really good fluidity, and so it drapes on the wrist really well. It's a really comfortable bracelet, honestly. Uh, it's probably not the highest quality, but it it does feel good. It does drape well. It looks good, I think. Again, and even their bracelets are quick release. And so, again, that's another good thing. I really, I really like this watch. I, I really, I really like both these watches. This to me is probably. Is it overpriced at $140? I wish, honestly, I don't think so. You know what? I, I don't think so. As I sit here and think about it, could it be less? I mean, of course, but I think we could say that about almost anything. If this were maybe $100, if this were more along with this, that would be a steal, I think. At $140, it's not bad. I think it's worth it. You're getting an original design that looks good, in my opinion. You have this nice blue dial. You're getting a, a decent bracelet, one that at least looks good and feels good. It's comfortable. I'll give it that. And so I think 140, this one is probably overpriced. This one I'd like to see maybe in the $60 range. I think that would be a lot better. And this one, but at 140 on this one, I think that's good. I think that's good on that. And then there's shades. I went ahead and I wanted to try out a pair of their sunglasses too. And honestly, I am really impressed with their sunglasses so far. They have a good weight to them. They do not feel cheap whatsoever. They feel really good. They fit my face well. These are their kind of their aviator style. Oh, and I'm forgetting the name off the top of my head. Dang it. Maverick? No, not Maverick. Uh, oh, anyway, I have forgotten the name. I apologize. I will get you the name in a, in a later video. But these so far, oh no, these are Maverick. They say right there. <laughs> they say right there. These are the Maverick. Okay, great. And there's the measurements for you there as well. 
There's your measurements. And these fit my face really well. They feel really good. They do not feel cheap at all. And they, you know, they were $60. So, no, 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 I'm sorry, 75. They were $75. They, they had some on sale for 60, some different brands that I was, some different uh, styles that I was looking at. But these are $75. They do not feel cheap. They feel every bit $75. They do not feel cheap. There's another brand that I like called Knock Around. Knock around sunglasses, which I will, uh, I'll get a, I have a pair of aviators in them too, and we'll compare those in a later video. Those are like $30, but I, I'm telling you right now, there's more than $30 difference. These feel more than $30 better than those knock arounds. These feel, these feel really, really good. Uh, just the, the weight of them, the way that they look and everything. I, I've been, so far, I've been really impressed with their sunglasses. And we'll again, we'll see how they hold up over time. I haven't seen too many reviews online of their sunglasses. So um, I'll do a full review on that and everything. We'll do some comparisons. But anyway, that's kind of my idea for what I'm gonna be doing over the long term with these watches and these sunglasses is comparing them and seeing the durability and seeing how they hold up over time because there's a lot of there's a lot of hate for them out there, and so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna see for myself. If, and ultimately, that's what you should all do. Watch reviews, yes, absolutely. And if a reviewer is bringing up the same thing over and over and over again about one particular piece of gear, a knife or something, then it's probably a flaw. But you should watch, you should always watch multiple reviews, get multiple opinions, and ultimately decide for yourself what you want. Uh, real quick, I want to show you the, the packaging. The packaging that these came uh, in. This is the packaging for the for the sunglasses. Uh, it's just cardboard, but it's it's a nice thick cardboard. Let me get this open here for you guys. Oh my goodness, there we go. So you know, just that. And it does come, but it does come in this. Now this, let me get that cardboard out of the way. This is really nice. This is what the sunglasses came in inside that box. It has a magnetic closure. It's kind of a, the texture of it is pleather, maybe. <laughs> it's kind of leatherette pleather, uh, but it's nice. It's nice and smooth. It's well finished. I mean, it looks good. It does have a magnetic closure, which is nice. There you go. It has a magnetic closure. It does come with a nice little branded uh, polishing cloth or cleaning cloth. There's a, I mean, they brand every. The branding is over the top on these. <laughs> they brand everything, but I mean, you know, such is their prerogative. Uh, prerogative, and uh, but this I'm impressed with. This is nice. Again, the shades impress. The sunglasses impress, even with the packaging. This is nice to carry it around. You know, it's nice. It's going to be durable. It's not going to collapse on you very easily. You're not going to be able to crush it. It's very nice. And so I'm, again, I'm impressed with the sunglasses uh, packaging. Here's what, and I'm just showing you one box because both watches came in essentially the same box in, a, in the same kind of box. Here it is, it has an outer sleeve. All right, let me, there we go. And it has an inner box again. Now this is covered with the same kind of material that the sunglasses case is covered in. It feels kind of pleather, leatherette, whatever. Again, <laughs> branding, always, <laughs> always branding. But you open this up and you've got, you know, all your information there, your warranty information, your welcome to the movement, just, you know, you got all that junk there. And then you got the box, which is just kind of styrofoam. And that's what the watch uh, was sitting in. And the only difference between, this is the one that the, the classic came in. And the only difference between this box and the one that the revolver came in is in that case, there was uh, two little slots for the two extra links that uh, came with it. And I needed both those links because <laughs> I have a large wrist. But you know what? Here, let me just, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. We'll just go ahead and put this on and I can show you how it fits. With This is with all the links in. All right, let's get that on. And it fits well. You know, it's got enough movement. It fits, I mean, perfectly. I can move it back, you know, to there. It fits well. 
It feels good. I feel like I have plenty of, of room there. It fits good and it looks good in my opinion. You can see on the class there, I've already, oh, the lighting. I've banged it up some, which that's gonna happen on any class. They call that desk diving marks. Um, but there you go, there's that. And let me go ahead and put the other one on for you. Now that's 41, 41 millimeters. And then here we go with the, let me get this on. Talking, talking, filling, filling. <laughs> Now the, the leather strap does barely fit <laughs> with my <laughs> ginormous wrist, but there you go. Now I'm on the second to last hole on the leather with my eight inch wrist. Now, most people don't have an eight inch wrist, so you won't have to worry about it most likely, but there it is. It's a 45, 45 millimeters. It does fit comfortably. And again, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. And we're gonna test the durability of all this and we're gonna see. See for ourselves, guys, as everyone should. All right, uh, let's talk about, real quick, real quick, let's just throw this in. The water resistance on this is only three ATM, so three atmospheres, so that basically means you can wash your hands with it. If it gets splashed, it's okay, but no showers, no swimming, no, no submersion. Uh, with three ATM. This one I believe is also three ATM. No, this is five ATM, so 50. Uh, so a little bit more water resistant, but again, would not go swimming with it, would not submerge it for more than a second. Um, so a little bit more durable there. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. This is gonna be a long-term experiment. Uh, just one more time, let me lay it out for you. I'm gonna be wearing these over the course of a year. I will be checking in probably about every three months just to tell you how it's going, how they're holding up. If anything happens, like let's just say that for whatever reason, the indices start falling off or the hands fall off or the date won't change or I can't set it anymore or it dies you know, real quick and I replace the battery and it doesn't work, whatever, I'll go ahead and just update you uh, sooner than the three months. But if, you know, I'm gonna just kinda, three month intervals is what I'm aiming for there on all these uh, to kind of update you and tell you how it's going. And boy, these watches do get smudgy. <laughs> they do smudge. Uh, but anyway, so there we go, guys. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope that you will enjoy this series uh, that I'm gonna be doing. A uh, lot more gear coming up on the channel. So please like if you enjoyed this video, dislike if you hate movement watches, <laughs> that's fine. But go ahead, if you do hate movement watches, and you have experience with them. If you just hate them because you hate them, then you know that, that's your that's your prerogative. That's fine, but okay. <laughs> uh, but if if you have experience with these watches, whether positive or negative, let me know down in the comments below. If you if the designs just don't do it for you, I, to be honest, I think the the main thing that people hate about them is the advertising because they are everywhere and they, and you get, unfortunately, you get a lot of these YouTube guys who get paid to advertise this and I don't believe they do it in a great way. But anyway, for another day, for another day. If you like them, thumbs up. If you hate them, thumbs down. If you're interested in more videos like this, uh, let me know down in the comments below, but whatever you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and that notification bell so that you will be notified each and every time I release a new video. And there's a lot more co uh, content coming, both knife and otherwise. So thank you very, very much for subscribing and for watching. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.